Hello everybody. How are you doing? How are you guys? Praise Jesus. How are you doing? I hope you enjoyed our first episode, episode of, of challenges. challenges we face or people face when they are planning for their wedding. Is that alright guys? If you are new here, subscribe. Come on, kit all you have subscribed. Welcome back. We love you guys. Thank you for blessing our channel. Thank you for those thumbs up. Thank you for those comments. Please remember to type something there, guys. Let us know how you feel about what we have shared. Mm -hmm. Is it giving you an insight of what you expect if you are youth? And uh, is it helping you to know how you will maneuver those challenges mm -hmm. if they come your way? Let us know in the comment section, guys. As well, don't forget to hit the notification bell so that when things happen you will be there to see when you see hello are we together guys god bless you welcome to the second episode or part two of challenges that we face or people face during wedding preparation thank you moving on to point number four Friends will leave you during the wedding preparation. Do you know that? Those guys who have done their weddings already, they know friends. They understand what we are saying. Okay, let me rather say during the wedding period, it's when you will know who got your back. Yes. Who is the real friend? Who will be there whenever you, you are going to, whenever you, honey, when you stretch your hand or you call out to for help, they'll be there to answer you. Oh, yes. In your period, utajua manze, mtuflani is a friend. Mm -hmm. And like the Englishman said, mm -hmm. a friend indeed is a friend in need. So, guys, um. This point is a heavy point. We are not saying you stand up one morning, you are just broke and you tell guys, I want to get married. Then they tell you, you have no money, we are not assisting. No. What we are trying to say is, there is that support someone needs during the wedding. Like, you will... You will Do you say Mase? Excuse me. You need to ignore that. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> we will need someone to chip in as a friend. But now it's when people will be like, ah, Domi is getting married. Mimi ni mchangia pate bibi. Oh, ni jikote. This person is forgetting one thing. That. The day is coming. Leo ni mimi. Mm. Kesho ni well. Guess, um, this point. Oh, friends not being found when you need them mm. is a serious one a very serious one there are those people who tell you oh you know what my friends i got you i got your back count on me Unaonda group kwamfano. nowadays we have got whatsapp groups yes but guys you will be surprised same as surprise that those that you counted on will not be anywhere to be found. Mm -hmm. We say what a pledge is a pledge. Money, guys, we have got a pledge of 300,000. Mm -hmm. ah. Wait until it's due time to redeem your pledges. There is different types of friends. Type number one. Mse atangale the group, angale the group on it. People are writing 10,000, 30,000. Eh? Eh? Na ya tupe katen kake pale. Pia. Atulie. You need this money. There was a deadline date. You will call the person. Oya. Uncle. Ama auntie. VP. VP. Ambia. Allah. 
Mimi liandika tu pale watu wachange. To motivate people. How now? How do you motivate someone to remove money from their pocket? Are you okay? Why are you motivating me? Because it's me you motivated. I was there planning for your 10,000 or I was there planning for your 5,000. It was in, you were motivating me. You are emotionally playing with my emotions. <laughs> Who does that? Ah. And another ah. type of friend. Someone sees people have written people have written. Anaacha hake pale. Akiona ile siku ya kuitishwa pesa imekuja. And a left group. And a left group. Unaacho hapo wewe na group yako na ile pledge yake. Eh eh eh. Alafu. Are you forgetting kesho ni wewe? Are you forgetting? Ama wewe unaona siku zote wewe uko sawa, kitakupata. For me, I'm sorry to tell you this guys, but for me, in this world we are human beings. We are not Jesus. Mm-hmm. We are people made of blood. For me if you serve me with the tea. If you if I came to your house, you served me with the tea. Hey, if you come to my house I will in fact I will add milk and I'll, I'll put toast. And roasted meat between the toast. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Because of what? Do you know I, I'll I'll give you tea plus you need the toast because you had you 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 are kind enough to give me tea when i needed it but if i needed tea and you looked at me like this when you come to my house i don't even have water to serve you Jesus when i say this lost. i mean if you served me well mm-hmm. when i needed help utafurai a friend called me and i surprise you utafurai but if you didn't serve me ani na jaribu kusema nini kama ulinisaidia wakati nilikuhitaji utafurahia lakini wakati nilikuhitaji ukanionesha mgongo lakini ni kadisa great kidogo before ni agree na wewe wangu maandiko anasema kwamba tusilipe babaya ama ubaya kwa ubaya but bado maandiko yenyewe inasema aje uh, jesus told them i was angry amuko ni chakula you never fed me i was in prison you never visited me i was sick no one came to see now me now for me guys the I'm party are you i do not know you mimi you guys you may say i'm bad but i i choose to go with the mandiko that said i was in prison you did not visit me that is me <laughs> I'm very but that is me. Oh. If you treat me well. Bona ni ku treat vibaya. But there guys kuna kesho. Eh. Kuna kesho. You should not forget that there is tomorrow. If you stood with us. At least answer commission names we can't mention mm, names cause because you were there. You guys big were, up you were there. You guys when you alikubali kukuwa committee those who supported us. God bless you so much. We really appreciate you. But Pia kama you turn your back on us God continue blessing God you. bless you God bless you and God give you time to live long so that you can know how you can to, witness you can know how to treat people well Yes You see the only thing that stays in one place hata ni mlima na bado sangini na erupt mm. kuna volcanicity Eh hey, hey geographa kabisa So that's the challenge. I don't know those who have uh, done their weddings already comment there. Tell us whether you face the same thing. Mm-hmm. Whether people departed you when you needed them most, when you counted on them, they showed you their back. Let's move on to fifth point. But remember, fanyia mwanzako unachotaka ufanye. Thank you. Ufanye. I don't think we should talk about this. One. Six, seven points. But no. Not necessary. Why do you think it's not important? Okay. Number 5 is what? Guys, number 5. Para, number 5 should be this. <laughs> should be this or this? Number 
misunderstanding amongst the involved party. Kutolewana kwa hawa wa maharusi. Guys. Mose. Mose mtu wangu. You get what I'm saying? If you know, you know. <laughs> Guys, he kwangu was okay. I am the one who is going to narrate it. <laughs> Some couple, you had these big expectation guys, and things are not going the way you expected them. Nanelewa, what I'm saying. You expected uh, you expected things to take the right, but they went south. This gender, Munayona, he, he gender, he, ah, Jesus. They will give you pressure. What is pressure? Do you know pressure, guys? Mimi hapo ndo nilijua kumbe nina kuanga na tempers. Masijaijua. I have never known that I used to have tempers. Until we have, I think, one month to the wedding. Mm. Or oh, one and a half months. Kwanzi hapo, guys. The pressure was real. Because things are not falling in place. And all questions go to the man. You are like, Ita manika aje. And the two of you know the situation you are in at that very moment. But they want you to answer. Because I used to tell her, let us trust in God. God has us. God got us. Do you get that, guys? I used to tell others, God got us. But this guy is to let them understand us. To convince them that God has our back. Ha! Jesus. They want, yani, in simple terms, ladies are Israelites. In simple terms. Why are you looking at me like that? It's the truth. If you read the Bible, I would say God has taken them from Egypt to Israel or to Canaan. They reached there. Wanaona kumbe inji zingine zikona kings. They have kings, they have rulers. For them, their ruler is God. <clears throat> so what do they do? They do? They turn to Joshua and tell Joshua, you know what? Is it Joshua? I hope I'm not wrong. They tell Joshua, you know what? Tell God, we want our own king. Mwenye tunaona kwa macho. The one we can see with our own eyes. <clears throat> Pastors. If you see this, comment there whether I'm correct. Our own God, we can see with what? Our own eyes. We don't want to be ruled by God who is in heaven. We don't see him. We only see smoke and fire. We want to see someone we can talk to. I tell them, you know what? We want, you, we want to beat this nation. We want to beat this nation. So God tell them, you know what, guys? They will use your money. They will misuse you. They will take your children as their guards. They said we don't care. So what am I trying to say? These guys want to see something tangible. If you want to tell her to convince her that you know God has us and we can do this, they want you to, you know what? This is the money for this. Gary, talk up. This is this. Yes. That's how ladies are created. That's their nature. Let me ask a question. Mm -hmm. How do you tell me? How do I ask you? Where, where, where? Mm, like. Where are the rings? Mm -hmm. Then you start telling me that rings will come. How? Where are they coming from? Are they mana? <laughs> Tell me rings. Zikomali flani. We will get them. Siku flani. Jew, they won't stand wait for you because you don't have money. Or they won't stand and wait for you to do something. Wanaume. Nataka munejibu. How do you, answer, do you answer that question, Wakati? Your pocket is empty, but you're still hoping against hope. If your pocket is empty, again, I repeat, don't go take someone's child and make them suffer through the, the, the wedding. Nini. No, I'll speak on that, and I will defend the boy child. Remember, the boy child has already gone a step and spread your diary, 
amekuwa kiketa keta na vitu vidogo kidogo hapa guys unajua mnaelewa there is a lot of spending when you are preparing for wedding there is a lot of spending is it vitu dogo dogo alaoni so you have been drained your money is gone your hope is in god and your friends <laughs> so it either they, it's either god comes through or your friends come through save enough mnaelewa but guys don't take my route if you can save save money save enough save money save money for your wedding we will tell you your, why one your rafiki as 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 cause kushika simu yako but tunaingilia point nyingine utani na hiyo point ya pesa tutaiangalia sasa hii unaelewa guys so tie is a very serious issue okay and the misunderstanding nini does not only come between uh, between the the bride and the groom misunderstanding also comes between the the bride and the people who are wedding the best couple even the family at large the family oh my god kwanza in laws hey tufia kwanza in laws in laws mungu awabariki because you make us strong that's the truth they make us strong when you face challenge kesho ki face tena utajua venye uta you maneuver but if your road is yeah yeah idea ndo kupata kidimbu cha maji ani guys in lords kwanza hey alafu in lords wa mfanyia nini awajanifanyia kitu in lords ada ogelea de wangu I have to confirm guys kama amefanywa kitu na sijui. <laughs> In love. Hey. Hey. Ah. Hey. Eh? Mtu tu anakukanyaga akijua ukiongea vibaya anaweza jua harusi ijafika anaweza fanya ile kitu. Sasa anakukanyaga kusudi. Tusiseme in-laws. Tuseme family. Family. Okay. Family. Family because all of them whether it's on our side or on my side they are mostly let us call a spade a spade guys mostly mostly mm. the groom side okay hiyo nayo ni fact everywhere the groom side huwa kuna kuanga manze why move it on unanielewa <laughs> Bara was kuelewa. Msijaribu kumuelewa. Moving on. To our last point. Our last point. Yeah. Money. What do we say about money? Money. Guys. Money. The Bible says money is root of all evil. Evil. Lakini tuachane na hiyo negative part. <laughs> Leave that drag at inside. The Bible says money is an answer to all. Underline the word all. All problems. Do you get it? All these things cannot happen without money. Hmm. Manzeni nilijipata pabaya. Hey. Thank you Jesus. Thank you God for coming through. Or say if it was not God who touched my friends ningeona moto guy is money just keep it it's for another day please okay. don't emotionalize me right now i'm down i'm not well <laughs> guys you know hell pesa ndo itafanya kama yule mse akija kwenu introduction guys you feel kama akija kwenu introduction itakuwa ile ya uh, kama mimi kuna tuka mzee kamoja kalitoka kwa committee kanambia eh sisi sasa nimekuheshimu <laughs> imagine wewe ni mzee tu ni mzee kabisa kama watu wanamjua waniambie wanamkumbuka failin baba muniambie eh yani money will make respect that is number one. number two vitu tu zitakuwa zikienda kama vinyani nimekwambia i moved a lot 
Huku ku move I need money na si ati. Ju nimeshapata nimeshapata fair basi nitaenda tu nikipepesa. Ninge kwa watu sina hata sukari. Sina hata mkate. Wacha sukari na mkate hata bururu. Jamani Yesu. Mantai. Lazima ukwe na kitu yako something that you have kept. Eh. Eh. Pengia kwa wenyewe bila pesa bwana. Allah. Mm. Kaki. Wao riskia wa. Kaki au will you do that? So guys, money. 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 Look for. We money. repeat again. Pesa o. Mangondo singi. Mhm. I pesa. Ti eh ni ti pesa. Mm. Ti pesa. Mm. Mbesa. Ando magwa. Mbesa. Money. Cash money. You need money. Guys, we had a very big challenge with money. Pesa inaweza fanya. Money can make even you plan a pre-wedding and people stand. Three quarter of the church. And you are left with only 20 people to do pre-wedding with 20 people. Hello. And you are like, okay. Lakini uwezi waambia hivyo. Do you need the little? <laughs> you need the little they have. I need that. <laughs> No, no, I've not tagged anyone, guys. I've not mentioned it has never happened to me. Has it ever happened? We shall call it here. Yes, do not let me be there. Yeah, guys. Like in the pesa. Pesa wey wey. Pesa wey. Pesa wey wey. To see me ane to see zoyane come our way. Hey. To see to see zoyane pesa. Hi. Can you imagine we did three three weddings? I live with that thing. Just don't talk about. Let me not talk about. Guys, it. we'll tell you about our that. next episode about the wedding series will be rather let me say what series is gonna ni series ni episode section ni section or part the ah. next part. The Forgive wedding me, journey. guys. I'm not. I'm under the weather. I can comment down there if we didn't do it well but our next part about the wedding series will be about I think now we'll be talking about the wedding budget which will be including the the logistics the the shopping for the bride um, the venue yeah the decor the people you and you and trust with everything I think now there we are going to catch up with everything as it is then from there we will tell you what to expect next on our episode but for now manze everything we have discussed we have there are so many challenges we couldn't tackle all of them people guys. people wed people who are wedding face like deciding for honeymoon destination very important let me allow me just say very important like my own guys from the word go i had this dream of traveling with bonfire adventures oh my god i was in their page i was contacting bon oh my god i even don't know when i ended up to be like hata tukitoka tukitoka wedding tunaweza enda kwa nyumba i will tell you why i don't know how how it how how i ended up there but i always had this <laughs> one say maze save save you do that wedding you desire that wedding you want because until now my husband owes me a travel with bonfire adventures lakini guys toko sabatulo hata hata toko sabatulo kweli mmesikiza safari zote that's why our money <laughs> our money in the transport sector hi kwanza sija walikula pesa. Hey. Juu mimi nilikuwa bila kujipata bara niko Mombasa kwa Nairobi. Mombasa, Nairobi. Mombasa, Nairobi. Kidogo kidogo kibwezi Mombasa, Nairobi. All that needed money. Mm. So msije mkasema oh this guy is not saved. I had my own saving oh. She had her own savings oh. But things mm. went from east to west. <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>
Yes, you went on. God bless you guys. Thank you for watching. Continue subscribing. Continue commenting. Give us that comment. Give us that like. Thumb, thumbbs up, guys. We love you. Thank you for the support. Thank you for the love. We we'll love give you, you the right next back. update soon. So till the next one. Mwah. God bless Mwah. you. Bye. We salute Ciao. you. Ciao. Now Pray, pray for me, guys. I'm down with the weather. I'm under the weather. What is being under the weather? What? Vanessa. Emmanuel. <laughs> what? Jesus is Lord.